What's up, everybody? We just had a huge surprise drop on us. We got changes to Beta Ray Bill's kit in the best possible way. This is awesome, and it really shows that developers are listening to us more, which I think is very, very good news for the future of the game. I, I really do feel like things are on the up, and them fixing Beta Ray Bill is a huge step in the, in the right direction towards like fan service. It's a game. You want like we're fans of the game. Give us some fan service. And all I gotta say is, if I win Dark Dimension Seven, will you buff Hulk? All right, guys, hot off the presses. We got some crazy good changes coming to Beta Ray Bill. Now, I I know people say the Envoy server is useless. The Envoy program is useless. These are, in a way, like direct changes that we suggested to them when we had our conversation with them about the Bifrost team. So I'd like to give a huge shout out to all the Envoys that were in that call, that were giving this feedback, and I do want to give, I want to give good feedback, a, a good props, a good shout out the developers that went at the time when we had this interview is probably when they had to start these changes to roll changes out this quickly because this was right before the patch hit when we were able to give this feedback like right then so it's only been what a few weeks and they were able to make these changes and i think that is a quick timeline for something that is you know it's about to be rolled out it was already set in stone this is all that i think those changes are good and it, it shows growth of the company uh, and I just want to talk about the change to Beta Ray Bill. Not a, maybe, maybe it was just because Beta Ray Bill won Dark Dimension 6. Maybe that was it. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's a player voice too. It could be a, a bunch of things, but these changes are great. So, the developer team has reviewed player feedback regarding Beta Ray Bill's abilities, including content creators who have been hands-on with the character via the playtest server. Okay, so they, they gave a shout out too. Thank you. Uh, we agree with several of the points raised and will make the following changes before the character is unlockable. Here's a description of the changes you'll see below. Reduce the energy cost of the special ultimate abilities. Basic ability generates ability energy for himself to increase the frequency of special ultimate abilities. Okay, hold on now, because this is a, a big feature, so we may be switching his ISO from Raider to Shriker. Special ability changed Bifrost to Cosmic in the last line for more theory crafting. love it. Remove the raid specific requirement for the ultimate and passive abilities for additional viability outside raids, love it. Added a charge mechanic to synergize better with the hero's guardians and other high crit teams. Fantastic. Look, Beta Ray Bill is such an iconic character that he needed to be good. And it really felt like they took everything that Beta Ray Bill should have been, the epicness that his like IP carries, and they shoved it into Val. Which I get, because she's a scopely original, she needs to be great, OP, everything like that. But it did Beta Ray Bill dirty. This looks like it's trying to address that. Remove the non-summon requirement for the ultimate ability to get more value when summoned characters by Loki and Hela. Ooh, so it's going to hit really hard now. But here's the actual text update. Uh, it is on the ISO attack. Oh, wow. Uh, this is really interesting. And now with the extra Lokis, his ultimate's going to hit harder. So... So maybe we go back to Sylvie as a skirmisher slash raider. And Beta Ray Bill as a striker instead of a raider. That could change a lot of things. I think just between those two, though, I, st I still think Val's a striker, hands down, and the two Lokis, I think, are still skirmishers. So I don't think that changes much. Special Thunderclap. So it's, uh, oh, energy cost got reduced from six to five. It applies one defense up to maximum three and two deflect and to self and all cosmic allies. First of all, this is great for like Dark Dimension, right? Dark Dimension six. Now, Beta Ray Bill, if, if because of these changes, and because of just new stat scaling, is he now a Dark Dimension viable character? Defense up and two deflex. And he's getting lots of energy to himself if you have him as a striker. He could be Dark Dimension 6 viable now. We're going to have to take a look at his cost and everything like that. But this is this this makes him a good candidate to go alongside Val. And then because they're going to have a long uh, shelf life as far as raids go. Ultimate. Energy cost it was 8 of 10. It's now 6 out of 8. Huge drop there. So he still gets to get to it at the same time. No. Well, yeah, because it would have been available turn two regardless. So he still gets to it at the same time, but after he uses it, he gets back up to it quicker with the new energy changes. Love it. Attack all enemies for 500% damage plus 50% damage per positive effect on self. If this character has four or more as guardian allies, this attack gains 50% extra damage. Oh. 
Oh, so it doesn't scale per character. It's just... Oh, but this is very interesting. So just him with Loki, when Loki does the summons, that would be four or more Asgardian allies. Hella, does Greg have the Asgardian tag? I, well, they made like a direct call out to that, right? So they made like a, a direct call out and Hella. Yeah, so Greg must have the Asgardian tag. Interesting. Lots of cool things can go into that. That That is really good for theory crafting. Lots of cool things can go into that. And finally, his passive. Let's just read the new one. On spawn, apply defense up for two turns, three death proof, three deflect to self and all Bifrost, and hero as guardian allies. Big. Big. Okay, that's big. So now we can see a hero as guardian Bifrost hybrid into war. Because let's be real, the current hero as guardian team gets beaten by, by too many things. When this character drops below 50% max health, this character has taunt, clear taunt, heal self. When an ally Val drops below 50% max health, heal self for 30% of this character's max health. Being taunt. So, yeah, okay. This is huge. I mean, I uh, already kind of did this part. No, only in raids. Oh, they took the raids part off. Yeah, I was about to say. This is this is huge for like a, a mode like Cosmic Crucible, right? So before it was like, we only have to worry about what, when we are playing this, it was going to be a benefit to us. Now that it's outside of raids and happens everywhere, this has huge Cosmic Crucible implications. Because Val has so much life, to bring Val to, from 51% life to dead is a huge task in and of itself. So playing around with those numbers, oh, she has so much life. You're very likely to trigger this and cause the taunt, which could let Val get to her next turn. This has huge, huge implications on the balance for, for this team in, in a bunch of other modes. This is going to really skyrocket their value. Like maybe Team Loki gets kicked off because he's trash. But the rest, maybe Sylvie too, outside of raids. We'll have to dive into her kid a bit more. Anyway, they added a charge mechanic to him. On sell for ally crit gain one charged. That adds, that that's very spicy. That's very spicy for the entire team and for theory crafting. They don't need, what, okay, what does it do? On any character's turn, if this character has four or more charge, attack the enemy with the highest health for 200% damage, apply defense down to that character. Wow. That's really big. He He's a completely different character than when he was rolled out. He does not have a single thing tied behind raid either. Besides whatever, whatever team bonuses that come out of his other, his teammates' passives. So he has like a, it's like a, a Mighty Thor-esque passive. And he's going to get, he gets charges from her too, right? In war. This is spicy. This is dope. This is really good. So Beta Ray Bill went from a C tier character to, to possibly an A plus tier character. I'm not seeing S. I'm not, I'm not seeing like, oh, this is going to be like facing Darkhold on defense now where we need to do a crazy team against it. But definitely an A plus. I think this is going to revitalize the hero as guardian team, the way, oh, would I go that far? Does this revitalize the Marauder team? Just like Madeline revitalized the Marauder team? Doesn't make them the newest war everything, but it makes it so that a lot of the counters, like the Shadowlands, the X Factor, all that's out the window. So there's no more giant punch ups using say Weapon X. Cause if we use Weapon X and we accidentally push the Val and now we're stuck behind a taunt and we can't do uh, we, we start hitting more people, so then Thor is getting charges because we weren't able to isolate our damage. This is really cool. This is really cool. I like this a lot. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the beta ray build changes in the comment sections below. I will see you guys soon. I'm, of course, we're going to be streaming tonight on Twitch at around uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you come check us out. We'll have a lot of fun. Uh, but this is great, and I, I think this is just a huge sign that the developers are listening to us, and they understand more now than they have in the past that we love our Marvel characters. And the IP needs to match their game viability. Hulk's next, right guys? That's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.